the all new 2020 HD Denali Dually from Motor City GMC. Stronger, more capable, and more power when you need it. In 2020, GMC ramped up its HD Denali lines, making this one of the most capable trucks ever produced. The new lineup of Dooleys come with a standard 6.6 .6 liter V8. That sports 401 horsepower and 464 foot-pounds of torque. Also available, as you see here in this video, is a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel. It puts out an incredible 445 horsepower and 910 foot-pounds of torque. For 2020, the Dooleys now come with the Multi-Pro tailgate. It's easily collapsed with the push of a button, the main tailgate drops with the push of another button, the second section drops, and then finally with the last button push you get a step going into the truck. There's also a lever that you can pull up to help you get in. Everything on the tailgate is spring-loaded and balanced. It makes it real easy to put back together. All right, let's get into it. There's a lot to go over here. First off, I would consider myself a dually expert. I drive a 2016 GMC Dually Denali. I love it, towed everything with it. Heavy race car trailers, boats, you name it, I probably towed it. Big grades, small grades, long trips, short trips, I've done it all. We love it, it's a powerhouse. There's a big difference in the 2020 and the 2016, and there's two reasons why. The first is the engine. In 2017, GM introduced a new Duramax power plant. Cold air inducted from the hood and it produced a lot more horsepower and a lot more torque. In 2020, which is this truck we're reviewing here, they introduced the Allison 10 speed transmission and that is all the difference. It doesn't have a new motor from 19 to 20 but it feels like it does. It feels like they've upped the horsepower and torque and everything. And that's all done with the 10-speed transmission. So when you combine that new transmission with that new Duramax, it is a huge difference between the 20 and a 16, night and day. The transitions in the shifting from the 10-speed is seamless. When you gas it, it just flows from low to high. I mean, it just goes. There's, It's like seamless on how it goes through the gears. And that's all part of that new transmission. Another thing about this truck that is significant is its size, it's bigger. Taller, more headroom, more leg room in the back. It's just an overall bigger truck. So when GM approached 2020, their main goal with this new redesign was bigger and more power and I think they achieved it. Let's take a look at the cold air intake on these new 2020 HD Duramax diesels. Uh, they came out with this in 2017 when GM switched over from the old style Duramaxes to the new style. This cold air intake produced more torque and more horsepower. We're gonna open it up here, see if I can do it with one hand. So you can see the channel comes through here and moves to the driver's side and does a U-turn. Now, why does it do this? And what is this thing over here? Well, this unscrews and it allows you to clean out the channels. I mean, you may get leaves in there. Who knows what you get in there, bugs, whatever. And if you didn't have that, it would just be trapped, right? There'd be no way to get any kind of debris out from your cold air intake system. So you unscrew that, you blow the air through here and it cleans everything out. As we move over here, you'll see this exit. And when the hood is shut, it comes down here. It seals up tight and that puts cold air right into your motor. And that gives you more horsepower and more torque. I wanna show you something interesting. Of course, GM has always been on the forefront when it comes to safety. I want you to notice this framework here, right? You know, you normally think that, okay, the frame's on the lower side of the truck. This is actually up towards the top. As you see, it connects to the engine bay over there and it makes its way to the front, curves in, right? 
And if you look, it's probably about five, six inches deep. I mean, it's like having a huge piece of box tubing in your truck. Of course, that's gonna make this thing a lot more safe and it's gonna make it a lot more rigid for towing. So there's some innovation from GM that you may not have noticed. Zero to 60 test, there's no one around, safe condition here. And uh, we'll see how this dually does here. So we've got it stopped. We're gonna go zero to 60. And three, two, one. There it is. Whatever that was, pretty quick. Impressed. For a big machine like this, to get it off the ground like that, it's real good. Because the trucks are a little bit taller now, GM has implemented a step in front of the rear wheels. It's gonna help you get in and out of the bed a little easier from the side. As we move to the back, you'll see cutouts in the bumper. Uh, these are seen on all the GMC and Chevrolets now, and it was actually helped develop by John Petrie right here in Bakersfield at Motor City GMC. The rear suspension on the 2020 Dually feels a little stiffer in the back compared to years past. I think that has to do with the new tow ratings that GM's created. When you're talking about going from 23,100 in 2019 all the way up to 31,500 on the crew cab in 2020 for the Dually. Uh, the Dually single cab goes all the way up to 35,500. I mean, those are big changes. I just don't think GM wants to compromise anymore. If you're gonna compete against Ford, if you're gonna compete against Dodge, you gotta be able to put some numbers up that people can relate to. I think they did a good job of that and they did it without really compromising too much of the suspension. I put my face up to this exhaust as close as I could and you cannot smell anything. Nothing, nada, no different than the air next to it. That tells you how much emissions these new trucks are putting out. Almost nothing, something to think about. The new 2020 Dooleys come with a hitch reduction. You can slide these into the existing hitch in the back and it will allow you to use a smaller hitch. Now, something new that I've never seen is an engine block warmer. This cable right here plugs in to an AC outlet and there's a plug in the truck that warms the block up. And of course, you get a pin for the hitch. The 2020 Dooley has a lot of options and adjustments. Here you can see it's all packaged together, really nice. Uh, the wood grain finish on the interior I think is a huge improvement. It's no longer shiny, it doesn't scratch easy, it's textured, it's more durable, it's going to hide fingerprints. That's a huge improvement. The new Bose system on this truck is very good, very loud, very crisp. Really no reason to upgrade anything on the stereo system. Let's talk about what it takes to get this truck started. There is no more keys. Now everything is based on a remote fob that's within the distance of this button. You put your foot on the brake. Push the button and it goes. You turn it off, simply push the button and you're done. The parking brake is probably one of my favorite improvements on the new trucks, um, especially if you're on boat ramps or anything like that. There is no more pedal. Now you push this button that will apply the parking brake. When the truck is in drive and the gas is applied, this will automatically click off. Wireless charging has been upgraded big time on these new trucks. Uh, before it was up here, right? And it didn't fit the super phone. So if you had the bigger sized iPhone, it didn't fit in the slot. Um, they still have this slot, but it's not for wireless charging anymore. It's just for setting something on, maybe loose change or keys or something. But this area right now is where you will just set your phone on here. It immediately starts charging. As soon as you drop it on there, there is no you know, wait time. Very convenient and way better too, because you can actually see this now. Like if you're driving and let's say you get a phone call come in, you can look down at your phone and see who's calling you as opposed to being up here and having to move your arm out of the way, look way off the road and uh, just a, a lot safer. Of course, they got more compartments here and a huge glove box that will store all kinds of different stuff. Um, a lot of storage, a lot of well thought out uh, spacing on the new GMC trucks. Well, I got to show you this. This is super cool on the new Duramax Dually. Uh, I'm gonna flip this up here. The console goes up and inside is a metal safe. Heavy duty stuff too, man. You lift this up and it's 
metal all the way through. You can put a firearm in there. You can put money, valuables, anything you want goes in there. You set your code and then you turn this knob all the way and there it is, man, safe and secure. I love that. And of course you have some USB connections up here as well. One really cool technology to this truck is the rear view cameras. You can plug them into the back and when you look through the instrument panel, it appears that you're looking through your trailer. Really cool technology. The trailer brake controls have moved over to the center console. Um, my opinion, that's a lot better. If you have a driver and something happens to them and they can't uh, functionally stop the trailer, the passenger can come over, reach the hand over, squeeze this and bring everything to a stop. It's a little safer. Um, you have USB connections here. You have charge ports here and you have an AC outlet here. Of course, I use this AC outlet on a ton of stuff when I'm out camping and doing things. So we'll go over through here. The instrument panel here is really well thought out. A lot of things have been moved over here. It's just really streamlined. Um, the exhaust brake, that is really good, especially when you're towing, you hit that right there and it'll use the uh, exhaust to slow you down. That way it saves your brakes. You got lane departure here, parking warnings here. Um, this will drop the tailgate, you push that. Um, this is really good. This is the hazard lights, which have moved off the steering wheel and now onto the instrument panel. That is very uh, clean right here. You're not fumbling around trying to look for it. Um, you've got trash controls. Of course, this is the AC that we talked about right here. And this right here is power windows up and down. You can push that button and they all go down. So a lot of cool features on the new GMC truck. The technology on these new HD trucks keeps getting better every year. Of course, you can see now it is in high definition. Also to the left, you'll see an overhead view of the truck and it will show you where the front of the truck is projected to go. This is really good when you're close to curves or you know to avoid hitting trash cans or things like that. And as you pull forward, it still stays engaged so you can see where the front of the truck is gonna go. So really neat technology from GM. GM improved its seats with some new color palettes and textures. Um, of course, you can see this is all tight leather. One thing I like about these seats, they feel like they have a little bit more side-to-side -side support for the back. The back section has more leg room, I believe three inches, so that is really good if you have a family. Here you'll see some nice pull-down cup holders for the new GMC Dually, and also something new is the storage compartments behind the rear seats. Those are really nice if you want to have a firearm or a laptop or you want something there out of sight, out of mind. That's a really nice place to put it. Rear passengers now have their own air vents. That's a good addition to the truck. Of course, they have their own USB plugs back there and heated seats. That's something new for 2020. In my opinion, this is the best truck that GM has ever created. I know I'm biased because I am a dually owner, but you look at the amount of bells and whistles on this truck and the load capacities, that's outstanding. There's so much stuff on this truck that I really can't do it all in one review. I'm gonna be going on forever. I mean, everything from the ASA Electronics In Command Control System that works with your MyGMC mobile app to the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that works seamlessly with your smartphones. I mean, the cameras that mount on the back of the trailers that make it look like you're looking through your trailer. I mean, it's all crazy stuff. There's 15 HD cameras mounted to this truck, you know, to bring it all to life. You know, um, there's huge improvements. They move the death fill up from inside the engine bay to where you fill up with fuel. I mean, that in itself is huge. Uh, the load capacities, I mean, you're talking about going from 23,100 last year, all the way up to 31,500 this year on a crew cab, and then you're gonna go up to 35,500 on a single cab. I mean, that's huge. Uh, not to mention the 10-speed Allison transmission that brought the power plant to life. There's just so much stuff on this truck that when you look at the entire thing, it's an amazing piece of equipment. I mean, it's just, it's mind boggling when you get into it. So I think it's an awesome truck. I, I don't think it's for everybody. I think it's for someone that does a lot of heavy towing, um, that maybe has, let's say like a little bit older uh, Denali and maybe they're thinking about upgrading. This is a perfect truck to get into. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Billy at be tough and the Motor City Throwdown.